Clouds. Locked. Thanks to Free My Ass for sponsoring this episode and giving us the free gift cards to give to you guys. Check them out in the description below and get some more free gems by using my link. Thanks, guys. What's going on, Spartans? Welcome back to the new series, Subscribers vs. YouTubers. So on screen, let me go ahead and freeze frame this real quick. Is actually my raid, and the whole challenge was Quatra Golem Go Wipe. So four Golem Go Wipe, basically. And the basis of this idea is that Havoc Gaming and I are actually challenging one subscriber each, and we are offering a $5 gift card to that subscriber if they beat us. So we went to a clan called Challenge Us, and we'll be going back soon to do more challenges. And this will also be done with many other YouTubers. Um, a lot of the guys in the Clash Army are doing this with me and with each other. It'll be a lot of fun. It's just a way for us to get close to our subscribers and also give gift cards to them if they beat us in the challenge. So obviously this challenge was Quatra Golem Go Wipe. And uh, I'm here challenging my guy, and this is my episode, so you'll see my raid, you'll see my guy I challenged, whose name is Frank, and then you'll see, if you want to go watch Havocs, I suggest doing that, go to his channel and watch his video where he challenged his subscriber, and see if he had to give a gift card to his subscriber, obviously, and it's, it's been a lot of fun, man, it was super epic, look at this raid, though, doing that Quatra Golem go wipe on this base, and it's definitely an interesting force, you can see here I am killing it with over 328,000 gold one and climbing quickly. Now I do have 3,000 dark stolen too, which I'm pretty happy about. That's always a good thing to steal. And we have already got the win. Look at that 50% epic. Gotta love an easy win there, guys. And let's get that rage spell on that, at that, uh, whoa, giant. I was gonna say giant. Yeesh. A Pekka. A Pekka is the name of that. That's what that is. But guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want to be part of the next one, join the clan challenge us. Uh, I'm actually doing one with T-Bot Gaming tomorrow, so that'll be exciting. We'll be in there. Hopefully you guys are going to have fun with that, and we'll tell you what the forces and all the other news for that later. That'll be in a different video, but basis this one is, come check out the rest of these raids. Um, obviously, after we challenge a person for winning a gift card, whether they win it or not, we will do an extra challenge occasionally just for fun. Uh, for the people that are still there who want to challenge. But in this video, as you can see, I'm going to show my raid. I'm going to show my challenger's raid. I'm going to announce whether he got a gift card or not. And then what I'm going to do is actually, I'm actually going to go ahead and show a few other people's raids from inside the clan. So if you do show up and you don't get challenged to win a gift card, you can still get featured in a video. So that's a cool thing. It's a really good way as a subscriber to get featured on your favorite Clasher's YouTube channel and uh, yeah, so that's the basis of it. Hope you guys enjoy the series. Slap a like if you do. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to comment below and go subscribe to Havoc Gaming. Now let's get into it. Here is Franklin and he is attacking this guy's base. Now quite a bit of loot showing. A lot of dark elixir especially and he's wall breaking in here. He's got his golems down. His wizards are a little too bulked up unfortunately for him and he needs to drop that jump spell and rage in there to get those golems ahead of his crew. Uh, he's obviously, this is actually my first time ever using Quatra Golem. However, I have been using six golems for go win, so it wasn't too big of a change for me. It was a little bit of strategy change, so I was a little used to it, but I'd actually never used this exact force. Uh, neither had he, I don't think, so it was kind of even on that matter. And this was, he was one of the highest ranking guys as far as golems and wizard levels, so that's why I challenged him. But we try and choose people that are close to our levels. Obviously, we don't want to attack someone who's got like level one troops and we have like max level. That's just completely unfair. Unless, of course, they have, like, we were going for loot, so I guess he has a little bit of an advantage being a lower town hall than I. So, I mean, that's that's one thing on his side. I have higher level troops, but he also has the advantage of being a lower town hall level so he can see more loot. Um, yeah, but other than that, he's already won 3,300 dark, which is really epic. He has won 200,000 elixir and 100,000 gold. It doesn't look like he's going to beat me by uh, loot, but he is doing a very good job. And a big shout out to him for coming to the clan challenge us. It was a lot of fun talking to you and challenging you. Definitely enjoyed it. He got the win, though, which is awesome. 44%. Can he get a second star? He does have a lightning left. Let's see. He did drop it to get a little bit extra loot. He got an extra 500 dark elixir, so that's pretty epic. Gotta like that, but 300 loot overall. And, uh, yeah, 10 trophies. Really solid raid, but I have won this one. And, of course, we will move on and show some more raids. Let's see who else did a good job here. And we're just going to scroll through and show the clan real quick. See who's doing good. Oh, here's Tiff. As you know, she's my best friend. She's also got a channel if you want to check her out, Tiff Tiff 2612 Go subscribe to her. She has Clash and World Zombination. Uh, she's awesome. Anyway, likes watching girl YouTubers. She's like one of the only ones out there, so <laughs> definitely always fun. 
As you can see, though, here's one by Buckwheat, and he is attacking a interesting base. I personally wouldn't attack this base with this force, but he does a solid job here, and he's going for a lot of loot. Let's see how much he can win, though. And there goes that jump and rage. Perfect timing. Gotta like the use of that. He even got his queen under the rage spell, which is always good. I love having my queen in a rage spell because she is so effective and so, so strong. It's definitely very helpful to have her there. Unfortunately, she starts to go the wrong way here, but the P.E.K.K.A. and Wizards are going to take the Town Hall out, which is good news. And, of course, what you want to see. Um, everyone kind of went to the right side of the base. I don't really like that, personally. But they're doing a really good job cleaning up the defenses as they go. And my queen, or his queen, excuse me, is unfortunately going the wrong direction here. She should have stayed behind those meat shield of golems, but she decided to get a little crazy and go on her own. And this rage spell should help her out a lot. Good idea to use a rage spell on her. I would have said to use it on her or else the golems to help them get around the base, but this will definitely increase her strength to a level that will be threatening. As a level 3, she does not have her invisibility, unfortunately, so she's going to die here from that cannon. Oh, actually, the big bomb would have killed her if the cannon hadn't. But yeah, so very solid rate overall. So far at 68%. Looks like he's going to get a few more percentage points. Can he get a 3-star? It He doesn't have any defenses to worry about. He's got a minute and 35 seconds. That's quite a bit of time. He doesn't have many wizards left, so that's the biggest thing. If he hits any big bombs, it will be over for sure. But if he doesn't, he might get lucky. Let's see, though, because I know these, these, uh, these spaces on the base would make me really nervous. I'd be terrified there's a big bomb somewhere. Obviously, because there's just so much open space. Now, we haven't seen any as of yet, except for that one that took the queen out. Which means they are armed, most likely. Um, just kind of praying he doesn't get screwed here. Here's the golems, though. They are going down pretty quick. Hopefully, as it explodes, it'll open this wall up. Uh, not quite, but the wall is definitely getting weak, and it's taking the archer tower a very long time to kill that golem. I'm praying this golem can get over there and block that cannon fire before the wizards get there, because if not, those wizards will die extremely quickly. Uh, the barbarians are taking the hits, and the golems are taking the hits for the wizards. Wow. Super lucky. That means no more defenses with 30 seconds left. Can he get the 100%? It looks like he's got a very good chance. Now he's going to challenge. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Don't go for that Tesla. Leave the Tesla alone, guys. Don't do it. Oh, no. Holy god. Oh my god. He actually got rid of it. But he ran out of time with 99%. Unfortunate. 19 trophies. About 600k loot and 1300 dark. Great job, Buckwheat. Let's show one or two more raids and we'll call it a day. Nice little 10 minute video for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this idea for an episode and also for a series. I had a great time with Havoc Gaming doing this. It was an absolute pleasure. Always fun to work with him. And I'm going to really enjoy working with the rest of the group on these series. Now, it's also a good way to win a gift card. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out that clan challenge us. And over the next few weeks, we'll be doing uh, more and more of these. And this is not a series that's only for a little bit, guys. We will uh, announce different challenges over time and continue to pump out videos for it because, obviously, we want to go ahead and do a long-term giveaway for you guys. So go ahead and comment below and see if you like the idea of this. And also, what do you guys think about doing a bi-monthly giveaway? We've thought about doing a little giveaway twice a month uh, just to try and pay back the subs for all their support and for all the, you know, watching our channels and subscribing. It really means a lot. We can't emphasize it enough. I know a lot of people don't say thank you for that, but we are thankful, and we just want to make sure everyone else realizes that. So here we go. Into this raid, though, he is Fatal Flip, and he is doing a good job. Unfortunately, his queen is going the wrong direction, and she's on her own over there, which is bad news for him because she is weak against defenses. She does not have a high health. And it looks like the P.E.K.K.A.s are doing a little bit of job helping out down there. He does have the invisibility, which he used nicely there, which is good. Looks like his archers might buy his queen a couple seconds here. But overall, he's not going to get much farther on that northern flank just because that queen's taking two Tesla's on, and that is some terrible news for her. So let's focus on the middle of this base where all that loot is, or all the loot that's left is, I should say. And he's got his king in there, which is awesome. And he's got a golem down on the southern edge of the base and two P.E.K.K.A.s on the eastern edge. So that is definitely a good thing to have. Unfortunately, that one P.E.K.K.A. is just going crazy around the edge of the base, just killing everything, which isn't a bad thing, but it sucks that it's on its own because if it had a golem around it, it would definitely be able to take even more buildings out before it goes down. Now, a level 3 P.E.K.K.A. or level 4, I actually think that's a level 4 P.E.K.K.A. I'm not sure, though. It's been a long time since I had anything with max troops, guys. It's kind of embarrassing to not know that for a fact. But yeah, it's been a long time. I'm actually very proud of this, guys. I just maxed out all my troops, and my final elixir upgrade is in my laboratory right now. It is the last level of 
the free spell and that is actually going to max right now so super super pumped that's the last thing i need to do in my lab and of course i also have no more troops to upgrade and i only have three more defenses so we are farming to max and we're just so close to getting it i don't know how long it's going to take me to get the last like 20 million gold but i've been winning like two to four million gold a day um playing up in champions it's really easy to win a lot of gold up here guys because i mean think about it this way if you win two to three hundred thousand gold you also get an extra 200,000 just for winning. So it's like 500,000 gold a raid. So I mean, yeah, you can only do like one raid an hour. But if you do four raids a day, it's just 2 million gold right there. And I tend to win a lot. So I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.